I'm so who the thousand Counting money up in all hundreds, all thousands I'm too rich to talk, you ain't talking thousands In the mirror, that's a hero One, zero, zero, zero Hello, Vision and Beauty, welcome back to my channel And for those of you who are new to my channel, huge welcome to you as well don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be up to date when i upload new videos because i do have some hitters coming through unfortunately this wasn't one if you see the title of this video then you already know this is going to be another big review on this gorgeous unit right here that was sent to me by black hairspray now this wig is by motown trust yes i did say motown trust and it's still let's swiss lace wig i got in the style el melanie and the color rt1b slash brown auburn and it's their two inch deep swiss lace and it's supposed to be 18 inches now when they say two inches yeah they mean two inches no it actually feels like like maybe an inch and a half a parting space this wig i wanted to love this wig let's just say that i wanted to love this wig so much it looks so gorgeous on the model let me show you what she looks like I love the fact that it was like a dirty, grungy blonde. I love the fact that it was like a nice, beachy wave. Like if you took your hair out of some nice plaits or whatever, that's the kind of look it gives you. The cons. The cons is the fact that there's only supposedly two inches when they really need an inch and a half. And it's some weird ass plastic, I'm sorry. It's some weird plastic, like grocery store plastic sound coming up from the top of here, which is unattractive and unappealing. The party space is pretty much non-existent. So if you want to rock this hair, you're going to have to do it in a comb over method. So like I did right here, just do the little flip and boom. That's basically what you get. The parting stops short and so does this wig, okay? The wig does not go all the way to the ear, okay? When they say ear tabs, they mean temple tabs because it stops literally at the temple. Like, where am I going? Like, no, no, no. Big cat furly, absolutely not. I have this on the last straps and this shit is, I have this on the last strap and this hair is tight. You know, we girls like to be tight and right but not on my scalp, okay? Nah. Not gonna have. I can't afford to have a migraine from my wig. I feel like it's snatching up my eyes. Like it just, like what's going on? As soon as this review is done, this hair is coming off. Okay, literally. So let's try to get through this without me, you know, having a migraine episode. So it does have three combs, one at the nape, and two. Well, I can't say temple because that's where the hairline stops. But two at the top i guess you would say because yeah it's that serious and that's pretty much it i mean motown trust i'm sorry uh yeah i don't know let me just go ahead and show you what the hell i'm talking about okay so let's do this close up this is where i wanted to love this you see how it lays it lays pretty good right so we're, we're laying down right so then we get here now here's this ear tab the ear tab is here my ear is here okay this is where we're stopping at on both sides literally Look at this. This is where we're stopping at. Air stops here. Tab stops here. So about an inch. All they needed to give us was an inch more. And it would have been called an air tab. Now the parting space. When I say it's non-existent. Yeah, you hear that? That's what it sounds like. Plastic. Look at this. It's a joke. So this is what I was talking about. About the non-existing hairline. Literally like two inches. And let me flip this over so I can see, you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this. What the hell is this? Like this thing is hard and uncomfortable. And it's just literally right here. So you got a little bit of lace and you have this hard cap fill type of plasticky thing right here, which is extremely hard. But it does make the wig lay down pretty flat. I guess that's what they were going for. And then you have the tracks in the back just right there right there like i said it was just a little odd for me you can even see it shining through here so this is this gorgeous color of this wig it is more on the line of silky straight it's not really shiny and here's the dark roots all right so as i always do let's get into that 360 shall we All right, so that's pretty much the specs on this wig. Oh yeah, it does have adjustable straps. 
and obviously it's not big head friendly. I feel like this will fit a child's head, literally. Like this could be a child's wig. I'm sorry, I don't mean to bash the company like that because I'm pretty sure they have other great products. I've had wigs from them in the past, like back in the 90s, but um, this is just not there for me. But I wanna say a huge thank you to Black Hairspray for sending me out this wig for review. If you have any questions about this wig or you want a link to purchase, I'll leave the link to purchase in the description box below and all information for this wig. If you don't already know who Black Hairspray is, they are an online hair company. They are awesome, super fast shipping. They have great products, so go ahead and check them out. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and beyond a beauty. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Bye.